Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Chogi Wars. Good luck. Sorry about forgetting to check the volume first, but hopefully you're awake now. My opponent prevents me from selecting my favorite opening. Joke's on them, I'm not good at my favorite opening. Let's pick a different one. So yeah, I wanted to play Central File Rook. My opponent insisted we do something different. We're doing something different. It's fine. Well, that's a situation. Um, hmm. well, let's just forget about it. Play a normal game. Not try to do anything too exploitative. That, because likely whatever I try to do is going to fail in some subtle way. Um, there we go. See that? That's half beam. The silver keeps moving forward. Um, I'm going to cut this diagonal so their bishop can't hit me so hard. Uh, and I'll protect my bishop. They intend to move the silver this way. I say no. And now they have to push that. Um, however... This is a bit dangerous for both of us. Not just for me, but for both of us. And I've already pushed that, so I guess that prevents me from using the square for my bishop. But... Um, yeah, also, like, it means I have this 5-5 five, five fork. I guess they could try to drop a bishop on 5-5, five, five, but I might not recommend that. Um, but yeah, I'm threatening bishop 5-5. Five, five. Um, there's lots of targets for me to aim at. I guess they expected knight takes, but we, end up, we ended up in this position through a pretty non-standard move order. So I didn't feel obliged to play normal moves here. Um... Yeah, I didn't see any way they could do a bishop fork. And without a fork, this has much less sting. Um, now, arguably, I could drop my bishop here. Maybe. Maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's a terrible idea. I don't know. But they're threatening to push on this file. And it'd be great to have some idea what to do against that. Uh, one idea is I could bring my rook over and try to break this file open. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea. At least not at face value. Push... push well, if my rook were here, I'd be able to do this. But if I move the rook here, they're going to push that. I could take... they can move the silver up. I could drop a pawn. They continue whatever it is they're trying to do. I think I'm fine. Yeah. So. I could be scared of this, but I'm going to let it happen. Alternatively, I could have tried dropping my bishop here and tried to wade through the sea of tactics. But I don't think that would have worked so well. Um could have moved up this gold, but I didn't think that worked either. So, I try to expel the invader. Meanwhile, they intend to push this and try to keep speeding up their attack. Uh, they could do silver takes and sacrifice a silver to gain a lance. Um, I didn't think they would do that. But I guess I, at some point, since they keep moving very quickly, although not as quick as most of my opponents, but they're still going at a very uh, fast pace. 
at some point I just decided, you know, enough's enough. We're just going to play a move and see how this goes. But yeah, silver takes, silver takes, bishop takes, bishop drop. If they take my knight, I could take a lance. And so they'll have two pieces. I'll have this piece plus a silver. That's one way this could go. Alternatively, when I drop the bishop here, they could take it. Knight takes. They could push this pawn. Yeah, I didn't think they'd do any of this, really. So I have a pleasant position. Um... And I think it's fine. So let's build up my castle a bit. I don't think trying to invade here works anymore. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, what's the next move? I see. Interesting. I've not considered it. Um, yeah, this way doesn't cost them as much material to break in. They get the same break in without... Yeah, interesting. You know, I should understand how these tactics work. So that someday I might, too, be good at shogi. Um... All right. Well. Oh wow. That I seriously okay. We are going places. Um what makes this so surprising is that I can chase down this bishop and maybe even just let my silver hang. Even, wow. Each move is more surprising than the one before it. Um, so, okay, now I'm going to promote right next to your rook, unless you retreat. And if you retreat, I get another free pawn. I don't think this is what they had planned, but this is where we're at. I originally had planned to take this pawn or something and try to, I don't know, or hope that somehow in some tactic I'd win this silver, um, which doesn't seem to be happening either. Oh, they might trap my rook. That could be fun. Um... Let's protect my rook. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> well, we asked, so they will show us. Um, but yeah, they might consider pushing this pawn, pushing this gold. Trying very hard to collect my rook. Um, it's just a rook. So. I don't know how much I should worry. That I did not expect. We're full of surprises today, aren't we? Um, okay, that's another free pawn. Let me just check. Yeah, my overlay looks decent. I was concerned that I'd accidentally left Bongo Cat on here somehow. Which I do on my more entertaining, I don't know, more casual uh, sorts of affairs here. Alright, so they attack this pawn. Um... What's the right way to defend this? Well, 
what is the right way to defend? Uh, so this square is open. Go mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I just let the pawn go and I push this again. That looks pretty convincing. Um, yeah, let's do that. Welcome. What was our proverb? Against the edge king, push the edge pawn. Okay. Oh, I forgot they could do this too. That's their real point here. Um, if I push, lance takes, lance takes, silver takes. Hmm. I don't think I need to go through all those gymnastics here. Um... Oh, wait a second. They're threatening this twice. To threaten this twice, they had to give up something else. That was control of this line. So, yep, now they've blocked this line, so I can't easily break in. Um, oh, what to do? Oh, I've got one more cheapo remaining. I think this is the last one. Okay, the bishop that was defending the knight is no longer defending the knight. So... The rook is defending this silver. The silver is defending the knight. The knight's protect, uh, protecting against my rook invading and hitting everything at once. Okay, I'll take one of these. I'll take one of these. It's like a supermarket checkout. We'll take one of those. We'll take one of these. Oh, and a lance is actually kind of nice here, isn't it? If I could get my dragon back here and my lance over there. Oh, what magic I might work. Um, it's also nice that my bishop points directly. Yeah. All right, um, sure. I'll just let that be. It's just going to be what it is. I guess also I'm threatening to move the dragon here if I get a spare tempo. So maybe that is a threat. All right. Yeah, they get to promote the dragon. I get to drop a lance here. And then eventually I'll take this, but you know, I'll first checkmate the king and then go take this. That's the plan. Ah, all right. Something. So again, step one, checkmate the king. Step two, take the hanging piece. Okay, yeah, you have to have your priorities in order here. Calling it step one and step two is a bit disingenuous, but it's kind of funny to think about it that way. They could drop a lance, I would take it, and that ultimately doesn't help their cause, because then I could drop a lance again. Yep. Yeah. So they try to block my bishop this way. Um, that's of some interest. Um, I 
guess I'll ask if they will open this diagonal for me. And they will. Um, yeah, it's not easy. I guess I'll take one of these. Okay. Uh, do I have time to take the lance, or do I have time to not take it? I'm not sure. I have to take this. Uh, I don't have time to not take it. So here we are. Uh, oh, I might have misplayed this. There might be enough able to drop enough pieces to stop my attack completely. I thought silver takes, bishop takes, promotes was strong enough to break through anything they could put down here. It might not be. Might not be enough. Um, Alright. I wasn't using the dragon anyway. You can have it. I got this far and stopped reading. Um, oh, I do have checkmate, don't I? Wonderful. We'll take it. Thanks for the game. Yeah, I thought Bishop Takes Knight was going to happen next, but I changed my mind. One down, two to go. What's our next proverb? Good luck. Mm. I don't know what we're, either of us is doing here. I saw a primitive climbing silver and I thought, hey, this would be cute. That was my thought process. Hopefully, yeah, so it says, without gold in hand, there is no defense. That proverb might have applied better to last game than this game. Um, all right, yeah, I don't know which way I'm going here. Then we'll defend the center. That's some sort of a castle, right? And then I guess I push on this file next. Hmm.
Here goes nothing. I don't know whether they're going to chicken out and block their own bishop or first exchange bishops and try to exploit whatever I've done here. To me, this what I'm doing as well as what they're doing both look risky. Um, all right. That hits my rook. Um, but now I drop back and it's not so easy to target my rook anymore. My rook has a clear line of sight to this pawn. I thought a bishop exchange was imminent. Maybe I'm mistaken. If I take here, and then I push this, they push, I take, they take. I've not done anything useful. Ah, uh, interesting. What do I do about this point? Push, push, tick, tick. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I push here? This looks fun. Mm-hmm. Let's push there. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll take this away from their king. This could have been used to defend their king. It's now out there. Instead of in the middle, so if we do exchange here, I can drop a bishop and then take here next. Interesting. I too like to live dangerously. Um, all right, sure. This bishop's a target, no? It does stop me from playing bishop 5-5 five five myself. And we know that's like my favorite move to play in this game. So they have achieved something here. Um, but there's a price. There's always a price. So, Nana wow. All right. Without gold in hand, there is no defense, is the proverb. I think this is telling me don't take that silver. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe taking the silver might be an indiscretion here. All right, let's protect my king. Imagine that, me playing a defensive move. What are the odds? All right, so I missed this drop on several occasions. Huh. That's no good. Um. Hmm. Okay. Again, here goes nothing. Um. That seems to be our magic phrase today.
If rook takes, I could drop a bishop here and do a fork and hits this point. It's not great. Truly. It's anything but great, but... But I guess if my bishop is dropped here, then my knight can join and hit that too, with some gain of time. My king is extremely unsafe here, but it's fun. Oh, well then. Ah, oh, did not expect that. Um, that does stop my knight. That's safe, right? Waking the dragon. Here we go. If gold takes, I can drop a bishop here, forking two pieces. So we don't see that. Instead, we see this defensive move, which, yeah, it's a reasonable defensive move. Um... All right, there's the move. There's the thing we've been waiting for. What now? Go mm -hmm. Here we go. Rolling the dice. Yeah, the knight's only defended once. I get it. Um, all right. Mm, that might be a bit much. Oh. Alright. I still have pawns. We can still use our pawns. So if rook takes, I think I have a bishop drop here. If the rook doesn't take, then I think my knight leaps ahead. Sure, the lance drops, but I think I can live with that. <laughs> so, something happened this game. Oh, the other thing I could prepare is a bishop drop here threatening this advance. That's probably my next thing. So, if, if gold takes, I have a bishop drop here. If the gold doesn't take, I have a bishop drop here. If I drop the bishop here and then gold takes, am I fine? I don't know. Ah, yeah, makes sense. Pawn, knight, knight, gold. Wait. Pawn, knight, knight. Gold is interesting. Um, yeah, that doesn't quite work the way I think, or hoped. Pawn, knight, bishop. Something to move this or defend it. Because work over. Knight takes. Gold. Yeah, this looks fun. 
Let's just do it. This is fine, right? I got three minutes to figure this out. At zero minutes of patience. So we're just going to play the impulsive moves and hope that it works. Yeah, I could try reading, but at some point my energy runs out. So let's play some moves. Let's play some shogi. Let's learn a thing or two. Yeah, so I thought this was fine. Um, I thought I had a gold that I could just drop there. I'm maybe a step ahead of myself. Just imagining a lot of things that aren't here right now. Yeah, if I had one more piece, this would be a lot easier. But I don't, so it's not. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm getting massacred over here. Uh, but at least my king and rook are not yet together. Our proverb is that without a gold in hand, um, the game is lost. And I do not have a gold general in my hand. Sampun. It's not... So that's somewhat ominous. Um, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So dangerous. So, so dangerous. Um. Nifun Sanju Bio. All right, here goes nothing. This is too slow. I mean, I'm threatening to take a lance or to approach the king. None of this is remotely close to working. Mm -hmm. If I ignore that, I get checkmated. I have to respond somehow to it. Oh, right. Um, I'm not sure that's their finest move, but sure. Yeah, the, if a piece is super deep into opposing territory, it actually becomes a little bit less valuable, like this bishop. It can't really do anything where it's at, other than pretend to threaten and stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. I need this lance, so that's one super unhappy token, but it had to be done. They could drop a lance to win my rook. I might not mind so much. Yeah, my position is somewhere between unwinnable and super unwinnable. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. If they drop a lance, I guess I push this pawn, give the rook up so I can promote the bishop and run away. Um, yep, like I was saying, here we go. It's just a rook. They could drop the rook here, which actually would lose it. Um, but a horse is supposed to be a useful defensive piece. So, hopefully that proves to be useful. Um, 
Yeah, silver would be nice to win a piece here, but I don't have that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to draw out my king. My king runs away, so that they can't drop the circ here anymore. They've blocked this horse. Um, I guess I'm threatening a lance drop on the center file. Oh, well, no time like the present. Wow. Oh, this is sad. Um, Lance number two. It's urgent that my attack break in, so that's why we're proceeding this way. Um, hmm. This is so bad. Let's check. This is also check. Um. I don't know. I don't know. This is bad. I know it's bad, I just don't have any idea what how to defend this. Uh, they have a gold in hand. Uh, I'll try this. I'm not optimistic. Uh, Looks like today I get to be that guy. Thanks for the game. What a mess. Two games down, one to go. Good luck. Yeah, neither of us had a real defense there. Okay, I'm trying to click. You can maybe hear my mouse clicking over and over. So the thing I like about Central File Rook the most is that I get to divide the board in half, and I don't need to think about both halves until I'm ready to think about both halves of the board. Um, so I can play half a game at once um, and not really need to... I don't know. There's just some really nice balance to this. So we block this bishop. All right. Our earlier proverb said that if they do this, don't put, th or it said it the other way around, that against an edge king, push the edge pawn. Um, but that proverb um, only applies if the opponent's got an edge king. All right, so we're going to play silver crown to deal with this crap. And now I'm finally understanding the merit of Silver Crown Castle. It defends the edge. So yeah, this edge is super defended. My king isn't necessarily in the castle at the moment. But, you know, if I had a castle, this would be great. If this were completely constructed, that is. Um, they're threatening this knight advance. I don't know what they're threatening after the night advance. Um, I'm a bit fuzzy on that. Alright, so they do advance this night. 
I do retreat. What have I missed this time? Um, okay. I'll take a pawn, you take a pawn. We all take a pawn. I guess they can move the rook to the center file. And they do. Uh, this is kind of fun. So I could push this. They don't even have a pawn right now. So that's just a free knight. Hmm. Screw it. Let's do this. You want to play with fire? Let's play. You got a lance? Okay. That's fine. I can live with that. Um... What a mess. What an extraordinary mess. I don't know what they were thinking. Silver, or I'm sorry, knight, silver, knight, uh, silver retreats. Yeah, that's not perfect. Um, I could move up my silver. Here, you can have my knight. You know, I'm feeling generous today. Okay, they say no about my knight. I'm not quite feeling as generous anymore. Um, maybe I take this. This could be fun. You could have some serious fun playing shogi. Alright. You know, I'm feeling adventurous. How about you? Round, round and round we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. So, um, I've got a lance and I've got a gold. They have a promoted bishop. My bishop's not active and their king is in the center of the board, which is rapidly becoming an extraordinary hot spot of activity. Um, so I was willing to sack my rook just to see, you know, if this could somehow maybe be advantageous to me. Okay, they have a pawn. Um, my gold here is not defended. That not being defended does severely limit my options. 
So I'm going to take the file. They're going to block my lance. And we'll have to deal with this somehow. Hmm. That's unexpected. Um, could move the bishop here. It should give me a bishop in hand. Um, could also just take a free silver. And then if they take back, this is a fork. The king is right in the middle of this activity. So, Go for me. Take one of those. I don't know, man. How bad can this be for me? Take another one of those, right? I'm threatening a rook drop right here. Also threatening to take this gold. Maybe threatening to take the knight? I don't know. I lost count. Stuff's hanging. Alright, that's a fork. That's also a fork. That got out of control pretty quickly, didn't it? That was fun. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.